Hey Voyeurs, let's continue playing some Isaac here. I actually continued this run right after losing the last one because it was so short. And uh, unfortunately I forgot to start up Audacity again, so this is all going to be post-commentary. Yeah, this entire time I was just talking to myself. So, whenever I pause I'll try to figure out what I was thinking about at the time. Looks like I'm going to go straight to the boss here. It's just Monstro. Uh, it's going to be no problem. Just gotta keep your distance, watch out for those weird arcing shots that he has, and he's easy. Pretty easy. I don't know, is he the easiest boss in the game? I think he is. Just because, uh, it's between him and Pin, I would say Pin has the edge in difficulty just because sometimes Pin will surprise you um, by jumping out of the ground right next to you and hitting you. But Monstro is nice and predictable, so looks like it should be over any second now. Let's see what we get as an item here. We get a health up. Okay, that's good. Good deal. You might hear me stop to munch on my breakfast every now and then, so. Post commentary might be even harder than live commentary for Isaac, surprisingly enough. I've got a whole newfound respect for guys that do this series full time. It's pretty tough commentating on Isaac. Pretty tough. Of course, I find holding an everyday conversation tough as well, so don't judge by me. Um, envy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I started talking about how every time I see Envy, I want to restart the run. Because he's just tedious. Just tedious. He takes forever, and he doesn't drop an item at the end. He used to, I think. Not anymore, though. Sometimes you'll get a blue version in there when you split him up, and he used to drop attack fly, but I haven't even gotten that from him lately. I don't know if they patched that out of the game or what. Yep, about halfway done here. <laughs> I think you can see why I hate Envy so much. Just, uh, you know you're going to sink three minutes of your time right here. <laughs> For nothing. For nothing. Maybe a bomb. Maybe a tarot card. Rarely. Like, 5% of the time. Okay. Almost done with this tedium here. Here we go. Can we get a live bomb? And a penny. Thank you, Envy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see, got some leapers here. Easy room. Oh, man, I need a bomb, don't I? Really need a bomb. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I got lucky and one dropped. Oh, nice. Sad Onion. So, Tears Up. My favorite upgrade in the game, by far. Just makes it so much easier to hit enemies, you know? And it's just like getting a damage up as well. That's why I love him so much. Let's see, am I going to stop to look for the secret room here? I really should. Might be debating about whether to open up that chest or go for the secret room. Or maybe I'm just going to skip right past it. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm saving my bombs for tinted rocks. Yeah, that's right. That's probably what I was saying there. Yeah, these spiders going to be easy. Really easy. There we go. Another easy room. I don't remember how tricky spiders were at first. They were probably pretty tricky until I learned their pattern. But uh, you just gotta stay away from them. That's the trick. Just keep your distance and they're easy. Got mom's bra. That's actually a lot better than the poop. Poop does nothing, basically. Occasionally you can get a penny out of it. 
But uh, Mom's bra will actually freeze all the enemies on the screen for a few seconds. And of course I'm going to take Book of Revelations here. Of course. Let's see. Don't have enough money to go to the shop. What am I thinking about doing here? What was I talking about here? Maybe explaining how Book of Revelations works? I don't know. In my hopes to get a battery so it recharges faster? That was probably it, yeah. Yeah, I was probably talking about how Book of Revelations really isn't that great. Because you only end up getting one, maybe two, spirit hearts on the larger floors. So, yeah. I've come to think it's largely worthless unless you have the battery or the 9 volt to make it recharge faster. Alright, let's lure these spires out here. Spires? Spiders? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Easy room. Another bomb, that's good. Ooh. You gotta love these flies hovering around the poop that he added to the game. Make it a lot tougher, actually. Those the flies that pop out when you destroy the poop take forever to kill. Let's see if I check out the mob trap room here. It looks like I'm going to. What do we get here? Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I decided to skip that. Probably not worth the damage I'd take in there. Red heart, totally useless for blue baby. What am I talking about here? I don't know. No idea. Alright, Famine. Gonna get a cube of meat out of this. Famine's easy. Really easy. Just make him charge over and over again and destroy his own flies. Pretty simple fight. Looks like I'm letting him spawn flies for some reason. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know, sometimes I just don't mind killing the flies off, I guess. There we go. He's down to his last phase now. Ooh, I bet we're gonna get a deal with the devil here. Yeah, we did. Nice. Let's see what we get here. Definitely going to take the mark, I think, and probably skip past the quarter. Yep, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> of course I would. Yeah. It's probably trying to remember the name of the item there. What am I doing now? Oh. Debating whether or not I should look for the secret room to get more money, I guess. Of course, I don't have nearly enough pennies. Uh, I should have placed that a little bit to the left. <laughs> so it at least would have blown up uh, the way to those two pennies right there. And I did it again. Jeez, this is terrible play on my part. <laughs> you see all the flaws when you're watching yourself. Oh, that's great for Blue Baby. That's going to respawn us with uh, five blue hearts if we die. And if you're another character, it just brings you back to life as Blue Baby. So, am I going to go for this? Thinking about it. Yeah, I guess I will. Got a lot more money out of it, actually. Yeah, it's an easy mob trap room anyway. I shouldn't really take any damage. Yeah, I'm blowing right through this. Got some ham bones here. Or clots? Are they called clots? They always look like hams to me, so... Alright. Ooh. Caves extra large. Means it's double the normal size. Got an easy room here with shooting maggots. 
And another charge on Book of Revelations. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I did find Maggie's Faith. It's going to give us an extra blue heart every floor that we survive. Which we definitely need as Blue Baby. It's a useless red heart. Alright. Got some floaters here. Should be easy to take out just as long as I play smart. Don't bounce them into my path, that kind of thing. Yeah, this, this room's done with. Oh, that's good luck. Blue Larry Jr., he's going to drop a spirit heart. I think he drops one spirit heart here. <clears throat> yeah, just one. And we got a key, nice. Took some damage there. I usually take damage on this room. It's kind of tricky. For me, anyway. Looks like we have enough keys to make the shop and both item rooms on this floor. So. Take out this last maggot here. Alright. Hmm, judgment. I think there wind up being uh, there winds up being two judgments on this floor. That's a good item. Guardian Angel. It's gonna speed up the rotation of any defensive orbiters we have. And of course it is one itself, so. I really love getting Guardian Angel. Uh, Cuba meat and what is the knife item that circles you? I forget. But it's really high damage. And if you get um, one of my favorite strategies is getting Book of Shadows along with those items and Poison Touch. Because <laughs> you can just run into bosses and hump them to death that way. So easy. 10 bombs. That's really valuable as Blue Baby. Need those for blunt the tinted rocks. I'm probably going to stop here and play Judgment since I have 22 cents. Maybe not. Maybe later. I'm sure I thought about it though. Got an easy room here full of passive maggots. Some fistula in here. Another easy room. All the rooms are going to be easy. This is a caves, so. And we got another charge on B Rev there. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to stop and play him. Probably hoping for the battery here. Or the 9 volt. But I get a health up instead. That's good too. Looks like I've already been to both item rooms. I wonder if I go back and uh, access that golden chest there. I don't know. I may as well. There might be an item in it. You never know. Yeah, this floor is a lucky break. It's really easy. It's going to give me plenty of chances to use Book of Revelation charges and build up some health here. Looks like I might make it to max health on this floor. And I think I do pick up the speed upgrade. It's going to increase our dodge ability a bit. Here's the second. Is this the second time we fought Monstro on this run? Yeah, I believe it is. I think we're going to end up fighting him three times this run because we see him in the uh, Mom's Heart boss fight as well. 
Larry Jr. Always easy if you just keep your distance. Shouldn't be too much longer now. Any second. Any second. There we go. And another penny. Okay. Do I go in here? I don't know. I would lose a whole spirit heart. I definitely thought about it there. Looks like I decided against it though. I don't know, maybe I should have since I have Book of Revelations. You know, you don't always uh, have an item that generates spirit hearts when you're playing as Blue Baby, so... I mean, if I was ever going to do it, now would be the time. Ooh, I got lucky there. With uh, Guardian Angel or Cuba Meat taking out those double flies there. Well, let's head in the shop here. Ah, Compass, of course I'm going to take that. I don't think there's any question about that. Of course, Compass is going to show you the location of everything on the map. The important rooms, anyway. Like item room, shop, boss room, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, come back to this other judgment. Might get another health upgrade here. No, oh, Mom's purse, really. Huh. I wonder what kind of trinket combo I end up with. Oh, yeah. i probably definitely going to pick up the Polaroid later. That's a given. As Blue Baby, um, every time you get hit with the Polaroid, um, a shield pops up and you're invulnerable for a few seconds. So <laughs> It looks like I stopped to debate whether I was going to open that chest or not. It was worth it, though. Yeah, I'm probably going to open this one up too. Probably. Yeah, that was worth it. Got a bomb profit out of it. Easy room here. I was probably hoping for a spirit heart drop from this champion bomb fly here. Don't think I get it though. Nope. <clears throat> Got some more floaters in here. And the easiest enemies in the game. <laughs> and some meat zombies, alright. Yeah, easy room. Easy floor overall. Tough boss though. The Fallen. I think he actually killed me in my first run. My first recorded run anyway. I think he's going down this time though. Yeah, especially with 23 bombs. Yeah, definitely. Oop, missed with that bomb actually. Got him with this one though, nice. Probably gonna do the same thing again here. Nice, actually hit both of them, awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be no problem. No problem whatsoever. Let's see what I get here. I could get a nice deal with the devil item from him. Ugh, Sister Maggie. <laughs> That's pretty weak. That's very weak as far as deal with the devil items go. Peep. I used to have a lot of trouble with Peep, but I've got a fair number of bombs, so... Probably spend a few of those here. Just because Peep has a million hit points. That went really well, actually. 
I don't think I've been hit yet, have I? Looks like I'm gonna make it out unscathed and a deal with the devil. Nice. Let's see what we get here. I'm definitely taking Spirit of the Night. Guppy's Paw is useless when you're Blue Baby. Uh, it turns Red Hearts into. Well, it turns each Red Heart into three Spirit Hearts. So. Looks like I'm going to head straight to the item room over there. And things are going to get a whole lot easier now that I can fly and can shoot through rocks. Yeah, it looks like I really lucked out difficulty-wise on this run. Getting all the easier version of the floors. We're on the depths right now. <laughs> Larry Jr.'s getting stuck getting stuck in his own poop over there. And we're done here. What do we have in our item room? Range up. Gotta take it. Can't re-roll it. We're not Isaac. So now we can hide over rocks and hit stuff from all the way across the uh, room. That's going to be nice. <clears throat> oh, leapers. <laughs> these were, these used to be the toughest enemies in the game, I think. Now they're pretty easy. Still give me fits sometimes. Probably going to stop and open that up. Probably. Do it. Do it, me. What am I talking about here? I have no idea. <laughs> oh. Shame, shame, shame. Got hit by a leaper. Let's see if I pop into the shop here. Oh, I decided to go to the shop instead. Okay. And the ladder is... Well, it's useless now that I can fly, so... Really should have opened that golden chest out there. Looks like I tried to. <laughs> For... I, looks like I forgot that was my last key. <laughs> Probably going to take out this champion with a bomb. Yep. Maybe I'll get a key out of that chest there. Nope. No luck. That is the... Oh, it's a trinket. What is that? Something mushroom. It gives you a random mushroom effect every room anyway. Liberty cap, that's right. Oh, and I did get a key. Probably gonna pop open that chest. There we go. Oh, we got a spirit heart. Nice. Huh. Facing some pretty tough bosses. Fallen and now the pony. Is that his name, the pony? I think so. No, it's probably a horseman, right? Headless horseman? I don't know. I'm probably thinking of the item he drops. Yeah. I think his item is called the Pony. And another deal with the devil. I'd probably stop here and debate whether I'm even going to take Demon Baby. Yeah, looks like I am. I really should, just with the extra damage. A little bit of extra damage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I skipped over Guppy's head. Um, that just spawns attack flies every room. It's okay, but I don't think it's worth three spirit hearts. Got a couple bombs there. I was probably hoping for some more health. And probably, yep, going to play Judgment here at least a few times. I don't know if I'm going to go to the shop on this floor or not.
game kid, turns you into Pac-Man. You go around gobbling up enemies on the screen and regenerating health. Unfortunately, as Blue Baby, it doesn't work. You don't get blue hearts from it. You can only get red hearts, so... Got some extendo heads here. Turned out to be an easy room, though. Got some roly polies and beamers in the middle there. And we're done. Any second now? There we go. Do I take this pill? Shouldn't have. Tears down. That's not good. Yeah, I'm probably going to skip past the shop on this floor and just play Judgments. Probably still hoping to get the battery. Really, uh, the chances were good, too. As many Judgments as we, as we ran into on this run. Just didn't luck out, though. Seems like you used to see the battery in the shop all the time. But I guess it got patched out. Um, I don't know if I'm alone on this, but I think greed kind of ruined the game a bit. Ruined the fun of it a bit. Yeah, it made it more challenging, you know, for veteran players, but... I mean, come on, the game's all about the randomness and the cool items you get, you know. And you're eliminating a lot of that when you take away the shops, like every other shop. So... Yeah, back in the old days, you could actually get two uh, two items, two upgrades from the shop. Like, uh, Magic Mushroom used to show up in there all the time. That's an all stats up. You never see that anymore. Ever. There are items you just simply don't see anymore in Isaac, which is really sad, unfortunately. I don't know if that's intended or just a programming error on their part or what. I don't know. It could be a programming error because, I mean, <laughs> I think uh, luck, luck up pills? No, luck down pills are supposed to increase your luck somehow. It got reversed in the programming, so... Yeah, there's some funky stuff going on in Isaac, that's for sure. Of course, I mean, you gotta let it slide. It was just like a two-man team that made this game. I think there was only one programmer. So... Great job when you consider that. Looks like I cheesed Mom a bit with my, uh... Stand by the door and let her hand come out strategy. <laughs> and just let uh, Guardian Angel and Cuban Meat rip through her there. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, it looks like. <laughs> Man, I'm being cheap this episode. <laughs> hey, if it works. And of course, we're going to take the Polaroid here. Ooh, the Joker, that's really nice. That's going to teleport us to the Devil Room. Oh yeah, I'm trying to figure out whether there actually is a devil room on this floor or not. Since you don't normally have that opportunity. Yeah, I'm thinking about it here. I'm like, oh, is there one? Is there one? Yeah, there is. <laughs> and uh, Nine Lies is actually a good item as Blue Baby, but not this late in the game. And I'm more than likely going to take the nail here. That's a damage up for one room, and it uh, gives you a spirit heart, too. I think it's once every, once every six rooms, I believe. Taking a long time to pick it up, though. There we go. And I don't know if I could have picked up nine lives there since I was shielded. And uh, not lost the spirit hearts. No, no, I don't think so, because I think by default... Yeah, nine lives takes you down to, to one heart no matter what. So. <clears throat> I 
All right, we made it pretty far. We're in the womb now. I think I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to head straight to the boss room. I'm not going to explore around to try to build up charges on my nail. Ooh, the tick. Do not pick that up by accident. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be as bad as it normally is because I've got Mom's purse and I can carry two trinkets, but once you pick up the tick, you can't drop it. So. And I believe the tick's effect is... Um, knocking down boss health by 25% as soon as you walk in the room. I think that's its effect anyway. Yeah, boss room is pretty close too since I used that shortcut there. That's going to save us some health. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to save the nail here because... It takes a while to recharge it. Oh, I'm definitely playing this, trying to get some spirit hearts here. <clears throat> Work. That's a life leech item. Totally useless if you don't have red hearts. What are these cards here? Let's see. Wheel of Fortune. Probably hoping for another... Uh, fortune teller here. Didn't get it though. I wonder if I play the other one like the uh, slot machine trying to get a pretty fly. Probably do. That's what I usually do anyway. There's a flat penny that uh that has a chance to drop a key every time you pick up a penny. Really nice in combination with um, Guppy's tail which spawns golden chest more often. Looks like I'm going after a pretty fly here. I don't remember if I get it or not. Let's see. Am I going to luck out here? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. It could show up on the last play here. Nope, just a bunch of useless red hearts, it looks like. Nah, I didn't luck out. That's too bad. Let's see, what damage ups did I get this run? Got a couple of familiars. Spirit of the Night, that's not a damage up though. The Nail is a damage up. Cool. Have we gotten any damage ups this run? Hmm. Skull X. Easy boss. Easy boss. Can be tough to hit sometimes because you have to hit that uh, his butt, basically. That red part on his tail. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to run into him here. That did a lot of damage, actually. That's probably the easiest way to take him out. Because it usually gets pretty tedious if you're just trying to hit the tail over and over. <clears throat> Sometimes, I don't know if he can blow himself up like a pin can or not. I'm not sure. Should be dead. Yeah. Any second. Managed to take one last hit there. What am I thinking about doing here? I don't know. <laughs> no clue. Maybe I was talking about my chances. I think they're pretty good right now. Pretty good. Because they're getting pretty close to Shoal here. Okay, looks like I made it back from my bathroom break there. Got the bladder of an infant. <clears throat> Took a hit here, but that's all right. At least we have some way to regenerate health here.
Got some uh, some chasers and some cysts in here, it looks like. Should be easy if I just hover over a rock. Yeah, having spectral tears here is a huge advantage. I will actually give up a red heart if I see uh, spectral tears in a deal with the devil. Just because later on down the line it saves you from taking so much damage. Got lucky there. The eye didn't shoot a laser at me. Oh, I'm going to check out the secret room here. Let's see what we get. The noose would be useful. If I couldn't already fly, I think I'd pick it up anyway. Yeah, why not? That'll prevent it from showing up down the line, so. Of course, we only have one more secret room to find in Shoal after this. Let's check out the mob trap room here. Not worth it, yeah. I thought I'd skip past that. Probably just going to run into him here and hump him to death since I've got Guardian Angel and Cuban Meat. And the nail recharged just in time for Mom's heart, for it lives. And I think the nail might be my only damage upgrade here, so making it this far in the game is pretty impressive, actually. Of course, we have Book of Revelations to thank for that, mostly. And the Polaroid, too. And the invincibility it provides. Larry Jr. is going to be no problem at all. The usual strategy for Mom's Heart, just drop a bunch of bombs, take out these groups of enemies as they pop up here. Ooh. Overshot there. Duke of Flies is going to be no problem at all. And I think Mom is almost down to her bomb firing phase. I haven't had a run where I actually uh, killed Mom before she spawned Chubb, though. I always gotta dodge him, it seems like, as I'm trying to kill her, finish her off. Alright, down to Shoal. Looks like we got this. Whoop, careful. Just run into him here. Guardian Angel and Cuban Meat will take him out. Looks like Demon Baby did the dirty work there. Yeah. Drop in the library here, why not? Game's about over anyway. That's a really nice card, actually. I went ahead and popped two of spades, doubled our keys. Yeah, High Priestess uh, spawns Mom's Foot and... Uh, does damage to enemies. Took a hit, so I just humped the flies there a little bit. Took out a couple of them, it looks like. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to try to take a shortcut here and skip one room. I don't think it works out, though. <laughs> May actually take some damage here versus greed. I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky here and not take any damage. Yeah. Actually got out unscathed. And I think it was all for naught, too. You can't even bomb your way out of here. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't work on Shoal. For some reason. This would have been a nice room to skip, too. It's kind of dangerous. 
may end up taking some damage here. For some reason, I just kept shooting over that bomb fly. I don't know what that was about. Maybe I was commentating on something. I don't know. Bad play, anyway. Take out these uh, umbilical cord guys here. Just about the easiest room you're going to see on a shoal. Any second now. Come on. Kill that last little floating baby there. There we go. Oh, I got a spirit heart. Nice. And another one. It's almost like I picked up an item that uh, increases the chances of finding spirit hearts, but I don't think I did. I think that was just pure luck there. Got double slots here. Should be no problem as long as I keep my distance and keep an eye on those maggots there. Should be no problem at all. Yep, time to hump him to death. <laughs> there we go. Did a lot of damage to him there. And that is a lucky find to get right before Satan. Strength is going to give us one extra health and increase our damage quite a bit, too. <laughs> Just going in circles in excitement, I guess, there. I don't know. All right. Pop the nail, pop the strength card, and drop a bomb. A little bit late with the bomb. And took some damage because of it, yeah. But that lets me hump him to death, so... And that did uh, about half his health worth of damage there. Oh yeah, we're doing plenty of damage to take Satan out here. I don't think we're going to have any problems at all. Let's try to get him to fire his laser here. Yeah, it's working out nicely, actually. And I can always fall back on the uh, hump strategy when I get hit, like there. Look at the damage I'm doing. Damn. Very nice. Yep. We are in the clear here, folks. Yep, going to have no problem at all finishing him off. And I did get hit there. The shield didn't show up for some reason, but uh, luckily I played enough to know that that's a glitch. And the shield actually is up, so. And there we go. Good blue baby run. Alright, next time I'll probably be playing uh, the next hardest character, uh... What's his name? Samson. So uh, I'll see you then, guys. Later.